Tonight, there are still many questions left unanswered after the shooting at Richneck Elementary School in Newport News. This comes after we saw several developments in the case. First, an attorney had a news conference yesterday morning to announce Abby's Werner was suing the school for ignoring several warnings about the shooting. Then, the assistant principal gave her notice to resign. And then, the superintendent was fired. Now we're learning more about what's ahead for the school after the leadership shakeup and where the investigation will go from here. 10 on your sides, Andy Fox continues our coverage on this case. We're here trying to do a separation agreement with the superintendent when we have now all the facts. And that is why Newport News School Board member Gary Hunter voted not to terminate Newport News School Superintendent Dr. George Parker. I didn't have any justification for his release at this time. And in particular, uh, I wasn't sure why he was being released. And we didn't have an opportunity to process it. It appears to be the outcry from teachers and parents packed into meetings that led to the termination because they had lost faith in the Rich Neck Elementary and the school system's direction. I know that the public uh, had some concerns about, you know, um, the state of our schools that become, as it relates to uh, student behavior in particular. Hunter called the termination a knee-jerk reaction to the voices in the crowd. Because we don't have enough evidence. Ernie Tolliver was driving by the school to see where the shooting went down. This child was able to get a gun at his age and be able to shoot the woman and we just, what do we do, just stand by and let it happen? The Tollivers are concerned too many people in the school at the time had suspicions and no one called 911 or police before the shooting. Monday, the students come back to Rich Neck Strong, a prediction from Gary Hunter. I believe that Rich, Rich Neck's going to be the safest school in America on Monday. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Our coverage of the Rich Neck shooting continues on wavy.com all the time.